Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's Egal Talks Football. We're back again with another video. Uh, I'm not doing a live stream today, and I couldn't do uh, one of those other shows yet. But today we're going to be giving you a major update talking about Arsenal eyeing three. Yes, I mean three signings. One is a winger, one is a midfielder, and of course, you already know about Ricardo Calafuri. But also, in addition to that, there's some potential. There's some potential departures also as Arsenal are looking at many different departures. So let's get into everything. Let's get into all the comments and everything that we need to get into right now. Do me a favor, please do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. And let's get this show cracking, ladies and gentlemen, right about now. Bang. Yes, 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 people. So let's get the show straight started right away. First things first, we're going to go in order. The first news article is about none other than Nuno Tavares. Lazio have contacted Arsenal about Nuno Tavares. Arsenal want around eight to nine million euros for Nuno Tavares plus a sell-on clause. However, Lazio have offered less than that amount. This is coming from Dimazio. We're going to have to see what actually happens. I personally would take pennies at this moment in time for the uh, the potential signing of uh, Nuno Tavares. So let's see what happens there. Next, uh, people are talking about William Saliba, Pakao Saka, all these other people. Amazing stuff right there. But let's go to none other than Kavior. Reports coming out that Kavior could go, especially if Arsenal get Calafuri. Ricardo Calafuri, it could be that Kavior ends up being one of the guys who's, who ends up leaving the club. And just more news on, on, on him. Now, Arsenal are looking at a second-choice goalkeeper and have made calls to Real Madrid for Andre Lama. However, Espanyol's Joao Garcia remains the club's preferred option. At this moment in time, we're looking for a number two goalkeeper as Ramsdale could be leaving the club and Joao Garcia or Andre Lana are, are the options that we're currently looking at. Not much to be said on the Bakayo Saka front. Um, then you go to this right here. Zinchenko has, uh, has two years remaining on his deal at Arsenal and there's not yet been an offer about a new deal, which is indicating the club might let, be prepared to sell Zinchenko. Personally, I would sell Zinchenko and I would be open to sell a lot of the players on this list of player sales. As you can see here, we have a full list of players that potentially could be sold and I would sell almost all of them. Arsenal are, uh, are strengthening for the summer and to raise levels in the squad necessary to sell players off. Aaron Ramsdale, I would sell. Thomas Partey, I would sell. Reese Nelson, I would sell. Uh, Emil smith I would sell, and Eddie and Ketty, I would sell. All five of those players would be players that I would look to sell, in addition to KVR. Now, there is a Spanish midfielder that Arsenal is interested in. This is one of the first players that we're going to be speaking about that we are currently interested in that are amongst the, the big potential incoming signings that we could get. Now, Gunnar Blog has said that Arsenal have have a central uh, want a central midfielder. One of the players that they're interested in is Real Sociedad's Michael Moreno. Michael Arteta is an admirer of his talents his, uh, and physicality. Moreno is 28 years old in in June, which would make uh, would pace him outside of Arsenal's typical recruitment profile and relative young squad. However, it means he adds more experience uh, and uh, an experienced player required. And we do need that since we only have the likes of Jorginho and Leandro Trossard in the squad that are a little bit more experienced. So you guys let me know. This is the man who scored the winner in the last game versus Germany with a beautiful header, um, 28 years old. I, I think we still all need to see more about him. But if we're going to bring him in plus another midfielder, why not? He does seem like a quality midfielder and he could definitely help out the team. Now, here's more on potential exits. Um, it is possible that a player... It is possible that a player will need to be sold, but unclear whether it would be 
before or after the potential signing of Calafuri. This is now David Onstein speaking about Calafuri, so that's positive news. Uh, you also have Kavior and Zinchenko are the most obvious candidates, which uh, the former looks more plausible at present, despite his popularity at Arsenal. Interesting. So Zinchenko does see more popular, more possibility to be sold because it appears to have generated particular from Italy. Oh, it could be Kavior. Kavior has uh, attracted a lot of interest from uh, thing. And then you have David Onsen also speaking about Calafuri himself, saying Mikel Arteta is a big fan of Calafuri and that Arsenal have made him his their prime primary defensive target. Arteta hopes to press ahead with the signing, though may need to convince others within the club that the deal it represents good business because they are still questioning if this is good business or not. Also, if Arsenal sign a wide player, Nico Williams uh, would be Mikel Arteta's preferred uh, uh, preference. I, I fully understand that. Nico Williams has been amazing in the Euros, and of course, he would be a quality addition to any team. So I fully get why he would be Mikel Arteta's preference at this moment in time. You have people also saying more things about Mikel Arteta, loving the possibility of signing Calafuri. A lot of stuff on Martin Odegaard speaking out and recently having an interview. Uh, you guys should go check that out as Martin Odegaard did go in-depth. And you can see there's a lot in that. We we already spoke about this yesterday, but Emma Smith Road to Fulham is a possibility. We also have Lokonga to Sevilla. Looks like it's going to end up happening as he will most likely head on loan to Sevilla. Michael Beareth has, of course, been sold from Arsenal and will be uh, and will be leaving the club and he has already signed for the Austrian side, as you can see right there, Michael Beerith. You also have um, some of the youngest players in the Arsenal team trying to get some game time next season, so we're going to have to talk about that. It's very unlikely that Kunde leaves if we're going to get Ricardo Calafuri. It's unlikely that Arsenal could get Kunde. That's just that's just tr that's just honest truth. I don't think we're going to get Kunde. We're probably going to get him. It is very sad to see. Um, Amari Cruz, uh, Drewberry leave to Brighton on a permanent transfer. That is another thing that was quite upsetting to see. And then as for that, let me just see if I can find anything else. More on KBR potentially leaving, more on KBR potentially leaving. Uh, we've already spoken about Dan Bentley. Um, let me just find this last piece to the puzzle that I need to get for you guys. One second. One second, one second. Okay, where are we at? Look at me now. Yeah, look at me now. Okay, let's go to the next thing. The next thing is, of course, Reese Nelson um, is going to be potentially signing for West Ham as the West ex West Ham employee has come out and said that West Ham have become increasingly keen on signing Reese Nelson, who Arsenal are willing to sell. So that is another potential transfer right there. We also have this one here. Arsenal are understood to be among the several clubs interested in uh, Crystal Palace's Eze. So this is another one also to watch as he can play in the 10 and he can be a backup winger for Arsenal. This would be a really good potential signing. But the main ones that I'm looking at is the likes of Nico Williams. And I'm saying to myself, He's one of the trio. We already know about Calafiori and how they're saying that this week is going to be the week that it gets done. Everybody's saying this week is the week that it's going to get done. This is the week that it's going to get done. This is the week that it's going to get done. And also, it does seem like we're going to be signing another goalkeeper in none other than Dan Bentley being that goalkeeper that we could be signing very, very soon. So there is there is a bunch of people. Plus, don't forget Mikel Moreno being that last piece to the puzzle in the midfield potentially also as we are going to be adding midfield squad depth into this team also. So let me know what you guys think about this potential transfer news. It is a little bit underwhelming, Nick, uh, uh, Mikel Moreno. Nico Williams is very exciting. Uh, Califuri is very exciting. Um, even Dan Bentley is very underwhelming. And then you have the potential sales. I just hope we can get some sales because we've been terrible at selling players in the past. Hopefully we can start getting some decent fees. As for today, you guys enjoy the France-Spain game. You guys enjoy the, the the England game tomorrow. 
uh, I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to do uploads as much as I can instead of doing lives as as, the, as there's not really much time to do lives. And hopefully you guys enjoy this video. If you have any questions, please do comment down below in the comment section, and I'll try to get to as many comments as I can. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. And you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Love for the love, people. I'm out of here. Peace.